Okay, happy Friday. Right, so <laughs> how was that full moon this week? Oh my God. Um, <laughs> I think uh, it's been such an interesting week and um, I feel like I've, uh, <laughs> I feel like I've woken up a new part of myself and I want to speak about how our wounds lead us to new parts of ourselves waking up okay so so yeah monday was was full moon and um it was interesting because everything i mean it was like beautiful like pink like the name is like pink moon right and it was like there was nothing pretty about this baby it basically kicked you like in the teeth and then left you um, to just bleed on the floor <laughs> and try and figure your shit out, right? Um, so for me, there was a lot this week about um, who am I really? Um, because I've been having this niggle inside of me, like it's like I'm in my comfort zone again. I've gotten to the space and things, because things work so fast at the minute um, and because things are changing um, so quickly for me and, I, and I'm sure it's the same for you, um, it's just like there's like these like incremental like it's just so quick it's just like um, cycle move cycle move cycle move and like it's like the universe is speeding everything up to the point where I'm going oh. um, because I mean we've spoken a lot about being overwhelmed we've spoken a lot about massive transformation happening and then like this week I was just a bit like I've been feeling after I finished the book, I was a bit like, now what? Okay, so that's like the babies are like that big part of my transformation has happened. It's fabulous. I found out some new stuff about myself, I, like new things was happening, but it was like, now what? So I was sort of in that apathy. Um, then like, it's like that liminal space, like you're in between things, right? So I was in that space. And then this week, like full moon hit and I was just like, there's something else that wants to come. There's another part of me that wants to be seen. And for me, um, when my, like when the wounds um, are triggered, it often leads to me having to look at myself and then go, oh, okay, who is she? Like, who is this, who's this new part of me that wants to come out? And obviously this week for me was a lot about like stepping up. Um, one of my, my, my deepest, oldest wounds is basically, um, my fear of leading everyone to death right I write about this in my book as well like I've literally got this intense fear of like I've, I've had these visions of me taking people to their death because I made bad decisions right so one of my core wounds is that I will lead people to their death and I'm I'm embarking on a um, some new work and I'm like wanting to do this and then all of a sudden it's just like well what am I doing like who who are who are you to try and think that you can actually start doing this work, Yulandi? And I mean, you guys know me. So it's just like, I'm very honest about the fact that this shit shows up. And I was like, this week I was in that space where I needed to claim that part of me that wants to stand up and lead from a different direction now. And she wants to do some other stuff that I've never done before, which is bigger than anything that I've done before. And I'm going, but what if we all die? <laughs> What if I take them all to their death again? And it's such um, it's such an interesting experience to observe myself, especially now that I've gone through it this week and I'm going, dude, you're going to be fine. We can do this, right? Um, we've done this before. But it's like, even though my, my logical mind's going, you've done this before um, and you've done things successfully and you haven't just, you know, there might have been one or two times where we messed up in a lifetime and things went badly wrong. But the majority of times, when you show up things turn out for the positive and and the thing is just like we as people immediately go into the space of the wounding and then we stop okay so my choice this week was i can stop and i cannot step up and like embrace this project or i can um you know i can i can just like i can embrace right like so, I can, so i've always got two choices so think about like where are you at this point in time like is your next level calling and what wounds are stopping you? What fears are stopping you? What is what is the thing that's making you think I can't do this? Like, a, like I'm not good enough. I'm not worthy. Whatever the hell it is for you. But like, there's a next level. There's another step that the universe is 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 asking of us. And we can have a thousand excuses as to why we can't go there. 
right? But when we embrace it and we go, oh, I'm just going to breathe through this and I'm going to take the step anyway. And when I allowed myself the day before yesterday to kind of like feel into what would it feel like if I really embraced stepping into this and how would it feel? It felt really good. And then yesterday I completely surrendered into it. And I had this emergence of this new part of me and she was just like, ta-da, I'm here. And it was just like, shit. So it changed the dynamic of my work again. And, and the more I am in my truth and the more I am in this fullness of my being, the energy around the work that I do and how I show up in the world completely changes. Okay. So, so what I'm asking of you today is like, are you sitting here looking at this new challenge or this new direction or this potential transformation and going, I'm too scared? Or are you going to go like, let me try this. Let me try and step into that. Because what I so clearly saw for myself this week, and it was a quick process, right? It was literally a matter of like thinking about it. And then like, it was like three, four days of like having to go through the transition because I was just like, I'm so aware. And the thing is, when we are aware of our wounds, like I said to you guys, I know this shit in myself. Like I can see it a mile away. It's going to show up. I'm looking at it. I'm going, dude, I'm bored of this. I don't want to do that. Let's just get through it. Let's just move. I know, I know exactly what's going on here. I can see myself, allow myself to feel the fear, allow myself to cry, allow myself to go through the emotions of that old like identity. And then I can just move through it, right? Because like there's a few hours of discomfort, a few days of me feeling like, Shit. and then like I'm through it and I'm like good okay so with you like sit with yourself and see like where are the wounds because the wounds are the things that lead us to the magic like if I just look at this week if I didn't embrace that wound again this week I wouldn't have been like up upping my game again okay and this is what always happens so I am so fucking grateful for all the wounds that I carry in me I don't want to no, I don't not want to get rid of them, right? Like so, but I want to embrace them because I'm grateful every time they rear their head again because they put me into the next level of my soul evolution. They put me closer to my truth. They put me closer to who I really am and how I want to be in the world. So I'm really grateful for them. So I know like, you know, there's a lot about like our witch wounds, our for me, like I've been working with starseed wounds. Um, there's a lot about like the wounding of the patriarchy. There's so many wounds that we carry within ourselves, but they are also such beautiful gifts, okay? And when you are in awareness of them and when you are not fearful of them and when you appreciate them and accept them and work with them in the most beautiful way possible and embracing them, they elevate you, okay? They propel you forward into the next level. So that's my message this week is embrace your wounds dudes it's like it's so amazing it's just like they show us such beautiful things about ourselves um because the the fact that you care about like that wound there's so many layers to that for me it was like the fact that I care that much about not fucking this up like that matters right like these these like big love there for my process and where I'm going as a soul so um go into the wounds and feel them and just allow them to be in you and then they can take you to the next level okay so fears of like shadow and wounds and all of this no it's done it's old school it's this shit is like we're turning it on its head and we're using it to our advantage. We're using it as growth potential um, and as like this beautiful thing that we that we carry with us that will help us. OK, so that's my message this week for you. So have a sit down, have a thinky, connect with it um, and just love the shit out of your wounds, basically, because I do. Like, I think they're amazing and I'm very grateful for them. And they really propel me every time just to the next level. So I'm really happy about that. So um, I'm running a group meditation next week. Um, we're going to connect with the uh, 5-5 portal. 
Um, there's some amazing new energies coming through. I'm going to be doing some really cool activations as well. Um, we're very much Taurus, like Earth energies. Like, so it's all about like us reconnecting deeply with Mother Earth again. Um, so there's a lot of new information coming through and stuff that I'd love to share with you. So if you can join me um, on the 5th of the 5th, uh, the invite is um, in the bio. It's in the event section of Facebook. We'd love to have you there. It's a free meditation. There'll be replays as well if you can't make the time. Um, which will be on YouTube and everywhere else. Um, so just, yeah, come and join us and, and reconnect and activate new stuffies in you and these beautiful codes and all sorts of good stuff coming through. So I'd love to see you there. So please come and join me for that event. Um, and yeah, and I'm, I'm always here. As you know, <laughs> DNA activation is waiting for you. Um, soul guidance is waiting for you. So we just need to, yeah, step into all these beautiful, new, amazing energies that the world has got for us. So have a fantastic weekend. Um, and I will see you next week on the 5th of the 5th for meditation time.